Hey guys, it's Lauren here with Laura's Leaves. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, hey. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, how are you guys doing? Thanks for coming back. And if you can tell, I have some plant mail over here. It's been a hot minute since I've purchased plants online. I think almost four or five months ago was the last time I made an online purchase. I'll link it up above. Anyhow, it's been a, quite a while. Over the summer, you know, I'm usually really busy. And when you're busy, you spend money. I really haven't had extra money to be shopping online and things like that. Now I have bought a few plants over the summer months in nurseries and such or locally but I haven't made any online purchases. So I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've purchased myself some plants and opened them for you guys to see. And one plant in there is actually a gift for my brother's girlfriend. We're gonna have a little competition with our plants. So if we can keep them alive anyways, but you'll see. Also, I want to address the background behind me. So I have brought all my house plants in for the winter I guess the other day it dropped down to below 40 here in Michigan so I decided to bring them in that night so they wouldn't have to suffer and I set up my greenhouse right over here which my cat is climbing in right now not freaking cool let me take care of that hold on okay where was I so I brought all my plants in for the winter because it dropped really cold here in Michigan that other night. And I moved my greenhouse into the basement and it's right here. So I'm going to try and turn this little room here in my basement into maybe the place I film, the place I repot. I have the peninsula from our kitchen. We're currently updating our kitchen, it's almost done. And we took the countertop from our peninsula, which is in an L shape and kept it. I want to put some legs on it and put it in the corner over here so I can have a little potting area of my own, repurpose the counter, and have an area to repot where I don't have to sit down and constantly be bending over because I'm sure many of you plant people can relate sitting down on the floor and bending over, repotting plants, especially if you have a lot of plants to repot, hurts your back after a while. So I'm excited for that. Can't wait to show you guys, but let's open the plants because I've had this sitting in my house since noon and it's nine o'clock at night waiting for a good time to record this where I didn't have any interruptions. I already pre-opened the package <laughs> because I just want to get into it and I opened it at the bottom. This might be a blessing <laughs> or it could not be good. However, so I have four plants in here that I ordered this from Taylor Greenhouse. I believe they're in, located in New York. Um, I will link everything down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Let's see what we pull out first. Seriously, open. Well, maybe I ordered four plants, I only see two. So maybe two are at the other end. So I would have opened it at the bottom regardless. Let's see what we have first. I hope they are labeled because two of the plants are probably gonna look very similar. And, oh, this is funny. The newspaper they wrapped it in, um, someone did the crossword puzzle. I think that's cool. But two of the plants I ordered are gonna be very similar if they're not in bloom. And I doubt they're gonna be in bloom. Ooh. It's funny because you clean up to, to do a video and then you usually have to clean up after a video. <laughs> All right, it is not labeled, I don't think. Oh, it is. That's interesting. They wrote it right on the plant. Who would have thought that? The 
anyways, this is a type of epiphyllum and this is called the Desert Falcon. And to be 100% honest with you, I bought it for the name, Desert Falcon. I do that a lot. I have a lot of plants just because, oh, it did come with a tag. It just fell out. Yep, Taylor Greenhouses. TaylorGreenhouses.com. Epiphyllum Desert Falcon. So that's a good size. But that's interesting that they, I'm sure it doesn't hurt the plant, but I've never seen that before. But with plants like this to where you can't necessarily tell until it blooms, I mean, maybe it helps once it, just so they don't get mixed up in the nurseries, maybe. Okay, the messy. Plant number two. And another epiphyllum, and this is called Strawberry Splash. Now this one's name is not as cool in my opinion, but the flowers on this beauty are gorgeous. I will try to remember to insert a picture, but these are pretty chunky. However, I can understand why they would maybe, they do look different. Like this one reminds me more of like a rickrack, but they're so similar. They would have to, I think that's probably why they label them on the spine themselves or on the cactus itself. Yep, but these are a type of tropical cacti and their flowers are amazing from photos. Never seen one in person. But one day I have another type of epi epiphyllum that I found at Lowe's and I have no idea what it is. One day, hopefully it'll bloom, so. Those are cute. I love them. So I know what the next two are. This next one has been a plant that I've had my eye on for probably over a good year, and I see them on different websites and such, but they're always out of stock. And when I was looking, they had three, versions available and when i was looking on their website there was uh, like i said three versions available there was a variegated version a uh, yellow variegated version and then the plain green version i decided to do the responsible thing and go with the green version since i've never cared for this plant before but I have a feeling from what I've read and heard, it won't be too hard to take care of. And I hope they both look good in size or the same because this competition me and my, uh, me and Lindsay are gonna do. I hope it's a fair competition. Ooh, this is juicy. It's definitely bigger, like fuller, like a more mature version than I thought it would be. But here is the vanilla orchid, a vanilla planifolia. Now, I feel like it's not coming out as big on camera as it is coming out in person. This is quite a chunky stem, I think. Now, online through pictures, it just appears smaller. I'm really excited to grow, try and grow this. Now, let's look at the other one. Now, this is nice. They have this in sphagnum. So I didn't get dirt all over. And I'm not bashing the greenhouse. It's that's just what's gonna happen almost 75% of the time when you order plants online, unless you are a master packer. <laughs> Good. They're pretty equal. Here is the second one, and this one already has a little shoot coming out. Focus. Yeah, it's gonna work. So here we go. Got two vanilla planifolias. 
and I cannot wait to see how these do. These need water though, this one especially. Check it out, but this one's already cooking the baby. Super cool. Definitely, they had the variegated, the Albo Vanilla Planifolia, and then they had the yellow variegated one as well. I would like to get my hands on both of them, but I'm gonna see how I can take care of just this green version first. And our competition with Lindsay and myself is to see, I know it takes years. Um, she told me it takes nine years. I haven't looked it up for myself, but that's what she's read somewhere to produce vanilla beans. So nine years from now, or however, whoever can do it first or get it to flower, if this even flowers, maybe the vanilla bean is the flower. I don't know, I have to do a little bit of research. But whoever can get that done first wins. It's gonna be a long competition. It's gonna take many years, but we'll see. That's the same thing we got going on with the avocado tree. She went and bought a big one, but I think it died. But my uh, little one that came from the pit is doing awesome. So that is, ooh, <laughs> that's everything I got at Taylor Greenhouses. I'm pretty happy. That's the first time ordering from them and everything came pretty well. When I ordered, it took about five days for my order to actually ship, which isn't a big deal. But once it did ship, it arrived in four days, I believe. Shipping wasn't too expensive. And I think on their website, if you order $85 or more, you get free shipping. I All this together was not $85 or more. So I had to still pay for shipping, which isn't a problem. But if you're looking to splurge and you make it past that mark, shipping's free, so that's always a plus. I'm really happy with it. Give me your tips on growing the vanilla orchid. I've grown some epiphyllums before and I think they're pretty easy. I just need to learn how to get them to bloom. But I have not experimented with the vanilla orchid yet. So if you have any tips, that would be great. I'm going to be doing a little bit of research um, into how to get them to fruit, because that would be fun <laughs> if that ever happened later down the line. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.